All right. Glad to hear you've been having some successes out on the course. It's really, really exciting to hear, um, not only for your game, but uh, also as an instructor. It's pretty cool. Um, so before we dive in, I just had a couple things that I wanted to go over with you. Um, on the setup, first of all, I just wanted wanted to play this swing, how, look, how good it looks, man. Looking pretty solid right now. Everything's looking really good. I think it looks really smooth myself. Um, just a few little small things, you know, that I want to just kind of tune up a little bit. Look at that. Man, that's a big difference from where we were last time. You know, you're really, you're starting to use your right shoulder a little bit more and drive into it. See the, the, the similarities here? See your shoulder line? See Tigers? That right shoulder, I want you to keep diving down. Watch, I'll play it on Tigers as well. See how his right shoulder is now like pointed at the ground after impact. And ours still currently is, it's, it's a little behind, but it's still better than where we were. Consequently, or consequently, this shaft will be a little bit more in this direction at impact once you drive your shoulders a little bit more. All right, see how we're ahead here? Now, I want your upper, I mean, it's matching this red line here. It looks awesome. You know, it looks great. So we're, you know, where our hands are ahead, we're driving, but this upper body just kind of stops a little bit. And then the hands kind of take over and then the shoulders continue to move. All right, so let me back this up a little bit. We're driving into the ball. This looks awesome. Our hands are ahead. Our hand, let me erase this. Our hands are leading the club head. That's what we want, hands leading the club head. And then at impact, we kind of throw that out a little bit. Club head, hands. Let me draw a little bit more arrows here. Club head, hands. And it's just because our upper body, specifically that right shoulder, continued to go away a little bit. All right, or it's continued to just kind of stop. Whereas on Tiger, I want this right shoulder to continue to, continue to keep moving forward, okay? Driving down toward the ball staying on this target line here and going out toward the ball or going out to your target line looking really good though you know i really like everything um i am going to tweak one little thing on your setup though however and it's going to feel weird but i'll show you why so specifically your elbow here and you can't see because this is 2000 tiger when Whenever uh, sleeve long, really long sleeves were in at the at that point, but he's got his elbow. Let me clear everything here. I want you to picture his elbow right here. All right, specifically the bottom point of his elbow. You know that point where you flex it and bend it. All right, he's got his arm rotated a little bit, like um, to the point where his elbow is pointing down to the ground. All right. His elbow is pointing down to the ground, and ours are pointing about, oops, that was supposed to be an arrow. Yours is kind of pointing, like, right here. I like it, I like it more, I like it more, like, down, kind of like, like how he's got it here. His elbow is just pointing in this direction, I should say. It doesn't necessarily have to be pointing down to the ground, but right now it's, like, kind of out in this area, and Tiger's is kind of facing down more. All right, so I want you to just rotate that a little bit. And the reason is because this elbow flexes up. All right, it goes up in this direction. Whenever you tilt that elbow down, I want you to do this if you're sitting down watching this video. Tilt that elbow down to the ground, not to where it's uncomfortable, but just get it down. And I want you to flex up like you're making a, like you're making a uh, golf swing. You'll see that it flexes perfectly 
up to your right shoulder. All right, it's a perfect flex up to your right shoulder. Remember, because the elbow, you know, it bends 90 degrees. So if you've got it pointed in the wrong direction and you try to flex it up to your right shoulder, you're going to get thrown out of whack. All right, it, it, the body just doesn't bend that way. So you've got to get that elbow down a little bit, and all of a sudden, you can touch your right shoulder easily. Okay, hopefully that makes sense through a video. Uh, just shoot me a message if that doesn't, and I will, I'll record myself doing this just to kind of show you. But this is a, a minor thing that's overlooked a lot, actually. Um, so we get up into the top of our swing. Looks really good. Like I said, I, making that elbow flex change is going to just make it easier to get to this position here. Really like everything here. Um, I would like to see these hands in a little bit stronger position. So, specifically, the wrist angles. To me, our wrists are bending a little too much up top. So, um, and I don't, you're not going past parallel. This is just getting picky at this point because your swing's looking good. But I want you to just maintain a little bit straighter wrist up at the top. All right, too much wrist flexion causes inconsistent shots. Trying to keep it firm and level with your hand, um, you know, is going to create that club head a little bit better at the bottom. So, like I said, getting picky at this point, but it looks pretty good. Um, then, like I said, we go down into impact. This looks awesome. That right elbow getting tucked under your left arm there. Perfect. Oops, supposed to be an arrow. Right elbow getting tucked under. That looks so good. Getting into impact. Hands ahead. The only, Like I said, the only picky thing I have is I want you to just keep your hands ahead just a little bit longer. Eventually... You know, um, in the swing, this this happens, all right? This this hands in front, you know, and, and the club passes through. That happens. I just want to delay it just about another half second, all right? I want you to try to get into this position here and then delay it. All right, you're going to get more distance out of your iron because you're de-lofting your iron a little bit. You're going to hit the ball further. Your ball is going to be piercing through the air more. It's not going to be as high. Um, everything looks really good, though, man. I really like the direction you're heading. Um, if you need some, um, if you need some clarification on the elbow, um, give me a shout out and I'll, uh, I'll do that for you, but everything looks really good. You know, like I said, I, I really like your swing. It's nice and smooth. Everything look is, uh, really smooth with that. You're not trying to kill the ball. And like I said, making this one little move difference is going to, uh, it's going to add probably like, you know, keeping your hands ahead just a little bit more, honestly, five to 10 yards, every single club. So. Uh, worth your time, man. Again, uh, appreciate uh, your repeat business. Always reach out to me if you have need clarity or, or a question on anything. Thank you.